Hey, and welcome back today. Let's go find out if Durham is the place for you. Durham, North Carolina is a vibrant city located in the heart of Research Triangle Region, and it offers a plethora of things to do and places to work. All right, so starting out, downtown Durham has gone through a massive revival in the last decade. The most famous area has to be where we're at right now, the American Tobacco Campus, a former tobacco factory that has been transformed into a mixed-use development featuring office space, restaurants, shops, and entertainment venues. This area is very walkable and is a blueprint of what downtown Durham wants to be. Oftentimes, a complaint around town is that walkability in some of the downtowns is very low, and that's something that is better addressed here in Durham. This area is also home to the Durham Bulls Athletic Park, which is a great spot to take the kids or check out as it's currently one of the top baseball stadiums in the whole entire minor leagues in the country. It's absolutely amazing. American Tobacco is, also has a number of excellent restaurants, including a local favorite here, Mellow Mushroom, which is an awesome pizza spot. All right, so what's the culture and what draws people to Durham? Durham is very much associated with tech startups, which have had a major influence on the culture here, especially in the areas that have been recently revitalized and downtown. There's a huge diversity of people and there's a large population of people coming from the outside of the area. We just met a guy going back to this hotel who's moving from Minnesota. The influence has allowed family and smaller independent stores and shops to thrive, and that can be seen more than most places in the area. Meta having plans to come and Apple coming nearby, bringing other tech companies here to, <laughs> to, here to support those. We expect that Durham's tech scene is only gonna continue to grow. But tech isn't the only sector of employment. Healthcare is a huge piece of Durham's history, with Duke University and Duke Health being the city's largest employers with more than 35,000 employees combined. And while we're on the subject, let's talk about Duke University. It is a beautiful campus, and if you ever get a chance to go visit the Duke Chapel, it is an absolutely stunning view of what architecture was and was like at that time. It is just a beautiful place to go visit. And maybe most importantly, Let's talk about the basketball scene here. As you can imagine, Duke basketball is a huge piece of Durham and who Durham is. And if you're moving to the triangle, you kind of have to pick one. You have to pick Duke, UNC, Chapel Hill, the Tar Hills, or NC State. If you like winning more than you like losing, I'd probably pick Duke. But if you're like me and you like to see your team lose on a weekly basis, you can probably go ahead and pick NC State and that will probably happen for you. And unlike some major cities across the country, here in the Triangle and Durham especially, college sports is the, the most important sports in, on the scene. While we do care about some professional sports here, there's nothing like college basketball in the Triangle. This really is the heart of college basketball for our country. So if you're seeking a city in the Triangle that's bursting with charm and has a big city feel, but is really a small town, Durham should absolutely be the place to start. All right, so let's talk about some places to eat because, well, we all have to eat and who doesn't love to go have a great meal with friends and family? Honestly, in my opinion, I think the food scene in Durham is better than Raleigh. So let's talk about it. First up, we have Mateo Bar and tapas and this is an awesome place this restaurant is known for its spanish inspired small plates and excellent cocktails another one is pizzeria toro this is a personal favorite of mine this pizzeria serves wood-fired pies and made with locally sourced ingredients and they have an awesome wine list but if you're gonna go there you better get there early another popular one that's come on the scene and opened more restaurants around the triangle is dame's chicken and waffles it's a southern style restaurant offering as you guessed it chicken and waffles which if you're not from the south that might sound a little funny or weird to you don't knock it till you try it it's absolutely incredible and then finally, if you're looking for something upscale, the Durham restaurant serves modern American zine and is located inside the historic Durham Hotel, which is awesome place. This is really just scratching the surface of what's out there in the Durham food scene. That list could go on and on and on for days. 
I personally have some that there's just no way we could hit them all. And you know, if you're thinking of coming to Durham, reach out, we'd love to give you some more recommendations of places to go eat. One of the most popular outdoor destinations in Durham is the Eno River State Park, which features miles of hiking trails, fishing spots, and swimming areas. The park is home to the Eno River, which offers excellent opportunities for kayaking, canoeing, and tubing. Sarah P. Duke Gardens, which is where we're at right now, features over 55 acres of stunning gardens, ponds, and walking trails. The gardens are open year round and offer visitors the chance to experience a variety of plant and wildlife species. Finally, Durham's many parks and greenways offers a chance to enjoy the outdoors in a more leisurely fashion. The American Tobacco Trail is a popular destination for walkers, joggers, and cyclists, while the Durham Central Park offers a variety of outdoor events and performances throughout the year. So what kind of housing can be found in Durham? One of the most popular housing options here in Durham is historic homes. And there are a ton of neighborhoods where these can be found. We're in one right now, we're in the Watts Hill and Dale neighborhood, which is just absolutely beautiful. And it's an incredible location. There's also Trinity Park, Forest Hills, which is a personal favorite of mine, and Old West Durham. And these homes are typically well-maintained and feature really unique architectural styles with many dating back to the early 20th century. For those looking for a blend of history and modern amenities. Here in the Watts Hill and Dale neighborhood, say you found a home that had been renovated and brought to new life, you can expect to spend at least 1.2 to upwards of 1.5, 1.6 million dollars. But even for the teardowns here, you're looking at 300 to $500,000. In addition to historic homes, Durham also offers a wide range of apartment and condo options. Many of these properties are located in or near downtown Durham, offering easy access to all the numerous attractions and popular eating places that we just talked about. Some of the most popular apartment complexes in Durham include the Heights at LaSalle, Berkshire 9th Street, which if you live at Berkshire 9th Street, you're probably gonna need to have a membership to a gym somewhere because of all the incredible restaurants right by you, and Bell West Inn. The rents here are typically gonna be upwards of $1,700 all the way up to $3,500 for a larger apartment. So they're expensive, but the location is incredible. For those looking for more luxury housing options, Durham also has several high-end apartment and recently new condo complexes, such as the Brennan, One City Center, and 605 West. One City Center is crazy. It is an absolutely beautiful building. It's something that you feel like you would see in New York City, and the prices kind of resemble those New York City prices as well. There's a couple of the penthouse suites that are over $3 million at One City Center. I mean, what an incredible thing that here in the Triangle, we have $3 million condos available. And we didn't really get into the affordable housing, but Durham does a really good job of trying to provide affordable housing to its residents. And the Durham City Council is always looking at different options to make sure that they're providing for those in need of that option as well. And one of the unique things about Durham is when you kind of get in outside of Durham and into the suburbs, you can talk about a house in Durham and you can be in one location here and then 40 minutes away, there's another house that is in Durham still, but it's 40 minutes away. And so there is a unique subset of suburban locations that are still in Durham, but are vastly different than what we're talking about here, maybe in downtown Durham. Another really unique thing about Durham when compared to Raleigh and, and definitely when compared to Cary is that their city council they're doing the best that they think they can with providing different types of zoning options. Here in Durham, there's a zoning option called a small lot option, and you can get a lot ditzer on a small lot than maybe you could on a bigger lot. I know I'm nerding out now, but it really does provide more housing stock to the city, which in turn makes that housing more affordable. So we hope you enjoyed this video about Durham and got to know this city and the vibe and the culture here. It really is a unique place and it's an awesome place to visit. So if you're thinking about coming into town, let us know. We'd love to help you plan your visit here. 
And by the way, if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or building in the Triangle, our team of real estate experts would love to help you with that. And if you would, go ahead and subscribe here. It really helps us out and keeps you up to date of all the happenings throughout the Triangle. We'll talk to you soon.